<laughs> wow. You know, some people do have a serious attitude of entitlement, y'all. And they feel like the rules are for everybody else, not for them. But, you know, many states have, you know, rules in place that if you're going to go out shopping, you have to have on a mask. Even in the state that I'm in, you need a mask on. So, or they won't let you into the establishments. How hard is that? I mean, seriously, how hard is it to do that? To me, for a person to go through all of this, just to go in a store where the governor has said, look, you you can go out and about and shop, but you must have a mask on and you want to defy that. At the end of the day, you look stupid. It's not hard to just put a mask on, walk in a store, get back in your car and take the shit off. What's the big deal? Oh, boy. Okay, so this is the New York Post. Man refusing to wear a mask fights his way into Walmart in Florida. So a defiant shopper fought his way into a Florida Walmart after he was denied entry for refusing to wear a face mask. A viral video shows the clip which has been viewed four million times, show a gray-haired, very short man scuffling with an employee at the Orlando Superstore Saturday. The same day, face masks became mandatory in the county. With his arms out, the worker tries to block the man from entering. You gotta wear a mask, bro, the man behind the camera says. The older man then shoves the Walmart worker, even falling to the floor at one point. Clearly determined, the man gets up and scrambles his way inside as the worker continues to try to block him. You want a mask, man? Yeah, I did hear the person say that. Sound like the person with the camera was telling him, I got some mask. You can, I'll give you one. But he just kept pushing his way into the store. Wow. The shopper ignores the offer and makes his way halfway up an aisle. Let the man do his job, bro. The man recording yells, get a mask. Ultimately, the man angrily agrees to leave. The clip shows, but not before the worker tells him that he was spitting all over the effing place. Wow. Florida has been a recent, you know, they are now becoming the new epicenter down there in Florida. And they've been saying that for quite some time that it was going to uh, change from New York to Florida and it's happening. It really is. Florida, they are getting big spikes and for like several days in a row even prompting Governor Andrew Cuomo to consider imposing a two-week quarantine on people visiting from the Sunshine State. Well, I kind of know why they are doing that, because at one point in time, Florida was turning away people from New York, so he's going to return that favor. In fact, he said he would. He said when people come to New York from Florida, he was going to return that favor and send them the hell out of New York. Um, so we shall see, but wow, wow. Ooh, what some people won't do. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.